out of Easter and I'm sure you already learned about what it's really about. It's about Jesus dying and his resurrection from the grave. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful that Jesus didn't stay in the tomb, but he's alive today. So today we're going to be talking about the day of Pentecost. The meaning of Pentecost comes from Greek people meaning 50th. It's saying that it took place 50 days after the Passover. So on the day of Pentecost, 120 people were gathered in the upper room, praying for God to send the Holy Ghost down. Acts 2 and 1 says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. This means they all had the same mindset and were all focused upon receiving the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 2 through 4 says, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 3, And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Verse 4 says, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them the utterance. So they were up there praying, and all of a sudden, they heard a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. Have you ever been outside during a storm and just heard a really big wind? 
Well, I imagine this is what it was like for those in the upper room, but it was probably louder. This is the only way we can compare it to. They all got the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues. The Holy Ghost was so strong, it looked like they had fire on their heads as they were praying. As this was going on in the upper room, and they were all talking in other tongues, there were some people on the outside looking in, and they were confused about what was going on. So I'm going to read Acts 2, 12 through 13. Verse 12 says, And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? And 13 says, Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. So basically these outsiders, they thought they were drunk, speaking in tongues, because they had never witnessed this before. So I mean, if you can just imagine, you know, 120 people were in the upper room speaking in tongues. And if you've never, you know, heard it or seen it before, and just like today, you know, we have people get the Holy Ghost in church. If we have like a new visitor and they've never heard them speak in tongues, so they probably think they're a little crazy, right? But it's not. It's God's will. And so since these people didn't know what was going on, Peter had to explain it. So in Acts chapter 2, verses 15 through 17, it says, For these are not drunken, as you suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So the Holy Ghost is still the same today, and it's available to you, your family, and your friends. And so the great thing is, as long as you repent and be baptized, you are able to receive it. So Acts 2, 38 and 39 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And 39 says, For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So we are going to take some time and pray today. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for those listening and watching online. And I pray, Lord, that if some of us don't have the Holy Ghost, Lord, that we would make the right decision, Lord, and repent and be baptized, Lord, so we can be filled with your Spirit, Lord, just like the day of Pentecost. And, Lord, we thank you, Jesus, Lord, that the Holy Ghost is for us today, Lord, just like it was for those back then. Lord, it's for as many as you shall call, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen.
Welcome to Snack Time with Shayla. So tonight, since I was talking about the Holy Ghost, we are going to be making some firecracker crackers. So first, you're going to need a Ziploc bag. You're going to need two packs of saltine crackers. You're going to need some olive oil, some red pepper flakes, and one packet of ranch seasoning mix. So we're going to start off by putting our crackers in our Ziploc bag. Alright, so once we have all these in there, we are going to add our olive oil to the bag. Now we're going to add our ranch seasoning pack and our crushed red peppers. Alright, so once you add everything to your bag, we are going to seal it off and mix the crackers all around. Alright, so once you get them all mixed in really good and you have all the crackers coated with your mixture here, you let them set for a few hours or you can even let them set overnight. So I'm going to let them set for about two to four hours. And there you have it, firecrackers. Your 
Doing a new thing, making my heart 